Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 Rio Kakotaku G1 Climb Show! Presented by Macon Crayley and assisted by his fabulous assistant, Jack Finney. Welcome to today's stream. I could not get Ali. This is the best I could do. Oh, wow. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Wow. Okay, okay, honestly, like a fucking... I go to all that trouble and do that <laughs> intro for him. First, I mean, first of, first of all, first of all, it's the Y1 Climax, motherfucker. Well. <laughs> that, was a good, that was a good intro, bro. I liked it. Okay, That's a lot of energy. <laughs> okay, so, but yeah, but actually, for real, like, I, I did ask Ali, and like, and he was, like, down for it, but, like, he was busy, like, he's in, like, He's going to London, like, tomorrow, and, like, he's busy today, so, like... Yeah, like, that's why well, he couldn't do it, it right now. You heard it here first, folks. I was legitimately his second choice. Y he was. You were. <laughs> you were. Like, he I mean, look... Didn't, he didn't even tell me until we were already on the air. I was going wow. to fucking... Like, okay, honestly, I was going to fucking, um... I was gonna ask you to, like, be on future, like, parts of it, like... Or even, like, on this part, like, if Ali was gonna be on it as well. Like, that's your, like, a free man booth. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Because you know I'm an excellent commentator. I mean, that's true, you have the theatrical bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like, you've, you've actually played all the Arkansas games, so you know, yes. you know the score. Well, I've played all the main ones. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, like, this one only has, like, up to, like, number six, so... We do not have the number seven guys. Nor the, nor the part three guys, for some reason. I don't... I, they, fucking Fire Pro does not have any of them on the workshop. Let that be known. <laughs> Oh, wait, uh, do you mean, like, they don't have any of the Y7 guys on there, right? No, yeah, they don't have any, I'm, I mean, as far as I could see, anyway. Like, they might, they might have the main guy, but as far as I could find, like, they didn't have, like, the, the Y, the Part 7 guys. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, the, with the different combat system in Y7, it would have made it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, to upload to fucking Fire Pro? <laughs> No, no, uh, no, not like that. Uh, okay, how can I put this? Uh, because of the different combat style and everything, it would have made it diff more difficult to make the moveset. I mean, I, I because of, kind of... Because of, the, because of the absurdity. I mean, I guess, but, like, at the same time, there's, like, the, uh, move... Like, you can make the moves in the game, so, like... Oh, yeah, maybe I some could, someone could have done it, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Maybe one day. Maybe someone... Who makes Fire Pro stuff will listen to this. I highly doubt it, but maybe. And they will make the good stuff from the Fire Pro, from the, from the Y7s. And it will be good. Any, anyway. Uh, the point is, everybody needs to play like a dragon if they haven't already done so. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so we're doing a Yakuza fucking Fire. Uh, uh, I need a fight. But I might actually need to take a drink first, because I'm getting too ahead of myself. <laughs> oh, okay, good. so, um, to correct my earlier mistake, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rio Kakotaku Y1 Climax Show. <laughs> Round 2021, presented by Macon Crowley, and his second choice for a personal assistant, <laughs> Zach Finney. The Y stands for yes. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, right now we are doing a Yakuza Z1 Climax. We have 20 of the best Yakuza characters. Assum like, assumedly, invited... anyway. Yep, we invited several others, but unfortunately they weren't on the Steam Workshop and so declined to attend. Yeah, uh, Tadamora was meant to be in it, but unfortunately he could not attend. Uh, no one knows why. I think he might have been cancelled. Uh, but instead we have, um, we have this guy. We have, we oh, have... Yeah, Tadamora's gone? I thought Tadamora was on there. No, no. <laughs> no, I, first of all, like, I didn't, I, I intensely didn't put it in, put him in. <laughs> That's for oh, the joke wow. that he could... Wow. That... Even, 
Even you are leaving Tanamura out in the cold. Intentionally, wow. for the fucking joke. <laughs> Somebody, somebody's gotta put some respect on my boy Tanamura's name. Am I the only guy who liked him? Yes. Come on. I mean, to be, I, 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 I mean, I liked him. You know me, I hate cops as well. Fuck the police, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I liked Tanamura. That's true. One of the only three detectives I liked. He was good. Including Gake. And of course, Officer Majima. There is not a Date one, by the way, as well. And that sucked, oh, because I, I want a Date in it. Uh. Oh, well. But yeah, I, he wasn't even in the first, like, attempt at, like, the, uh, the first, bra like, making of the bracket as well. Like, he wasn't in there. Because, like, I, I had to remake this so I could get, like, the right attires in. <laughs> I do not That's care fair. that I'm breaking the fourth wall right now, but whatever. Peek behind the screen. Breaking the wall. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, uh, so uh, let's let's have a look at the bracket, like the uh, the entrance here. We have Kazuma Kiryu, the dragon. We have Sunaki. We have uh, Ryuji Goda, the, uh, the dragon. The also the dragon. <laughs> we have Sunaki Yama, the dragon. The not. The not. The not. The not. The, the nothing, even. <laughs> he's the just, homeless dragon. He's a guy. He's a lone sock. He's a sock. <laughs> he's Gura. Shagadoo. Shagadoo, yeah. We have Sodatsi, the, the man. The man who gets beaten up. The Look man who knows everything about martial arts but can't actually fight. Until Y6, yes. when you find he's become incredibly legit. Indeed, and even then you still beat him up. We have... But he, he makes you fucking work for it. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Uh, we have Naoto Tagashira. A Y6 guy, and if you haven't played Y6, you should. I, do, I, I, do, I don't want to get into the spoilers for stuff, so fucking commentating his matches is... All the Y6 matches are gonna be weird. We have Tiger Sizema. AKA Dave Batista. <laughs> yes. A uh, man who fought and beat a bear with his bare hands. I mean, that's more Daniel Bryan than Batista, but still. No, no, Sizema. Sizema's done it. Yes, and so has Daniel Bryan, but Batista has not. Except Daniel Bryan did do it from ten feet in the air with a fucking monstrous punch. I mean, you don't know that. We don't. We do not know the, how Daniel Bryan beat that bear. He beat that bear by kicking it. We saw it happen. <laughs> I mean, true. I mean, also da Brian Danielson may or may not fight a bear at some point. Because there, there is a bear. There are bear countries in a, in all the and not all the band fucking in AEW. <laughs> I mean, this is true. We, we, one day he will fight Bear Bronson, damn it. <laughs> uh, we have... Shoot, shoot, you, want, you want to take, take this actually over for a little bit? Neo Iwami. The Neo Iwami. Yep. <laughs> he's a, no, yeah, he's a guy, alright. But we, this next person is not a guy. We have Miss <laughs> Tatsu. The only female in this tournament because none of the others fight. The most Except badass for one. woman ever to walk the streets. The most badass woman ever to walk the streets of Kamurocho. The debt collecting demon herself. Hell yeah. We have Masato Aizawa. Aha. Uh -huh. He is the bodyguard of a, another another entrant in this tournament. Who will get you? We have Mine. Yep. Mine. Why, why Mine? Because. Why Mine? Just because. Exactly. And let's move over to the B block. We have Daizo Sai Dai Daizo Saigo even. Everybody's favorite tall tale telling mercenary. Who is at the same time surprisingly legit. Yep. And of and he makes movies. Yep. We have Takai Takaki Ma Takaki Ma Matsunaga. That, yeah. He is also a guy from fucking The Place. <laughs> yep. 
And up next, we have the man, the myth, the legend, the mad dog of Shimano, the king of Kamarocho's construction firms. He's the man, as you saw, Goro Majima. <laughs> Also voiced by Mark Hamill in the English dub for the original. That is no true. Model. That is very true. And someone who is not Everybody's voiced by Mark favorite. Hamill. Tatsuro Sinda. Everybody's favorite psychopath, though. We can all talk about Majima at length. Uh, ah, yes we can. We can also talk in length about Tatsuro Sinada. The better Sin the best Sinada. Yes. He likes baseball. <laughs> he yeah. likes baseball and he likes bareback king for Indeed. And I mean, it's fair, it's fair enough. He likes playing baseball and banging whores. <laughs> and if they don't like that, they don't have to stick around. Ah, oh, hell yeah. And, we, and we, luckily for us, we do like that. We love Shinada. Shinada is amazing. We love fucking. It is Yuda. Yuda Usami. Yes. This guy. He is a good mm. man. He's a good mm. kid. Yeah. We have Akira Nishikiyama, a fist. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, Akira Nishikiyama. He was once a good friend to a man. And now Fishiki is a man of his own volition. Indeed. He will, he will rise to the top by any means necessary, including backstabbing his childhood friend. Yep. <laughs> I, hate, I hate that man so much. I liked him for a bit. Yeah, well, you would. <laughs> and meanwhile, you like Takeshi Kido. Yes, this is totally a man who I remember. He, was, he, was, he had a cool theme song. I believe in you. <laughs> That's seriously my favorite fucking Yakuza song, by the way. I don't know why. Cool. It's just like, it's such a good song. <laughs> uh, we have Daigo Dozuma. Ah, uh, yes. The current chairman. He's chairman. He is... Chairman. Ah, La Parker! He's the boss. Your boss. He's all our bosses. He's got to do the La Parker dance. Oh my god, I should, have, I should give him the La Parker dance. <laughs> uh, we have... Hirokai... Hiroaki Arai. Arai. Not, not what I said before. Uh... As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, although let's be real, it's probably just gentlemen, my Japanese pronunciation is much better than that. But it's to be expected. Yeah, I, he's actually he's studied more Japanese than I have. I yeah. studied a little bit. And we have Keiji Shibasawa. Yep. I mean, Keiji <laughs> that we can actually enjoy, unlike the modern day Keiji Muto. We all have fairly negative opinions on these days. He has no knees, but this guy does. This guy has many weird kicks. At the very least, he's a guy who we're not going to have to, you know, use a stopwatch to spend tracking how long he spends in rest <laughs> Oh my god, I need to, I should probably actually watch that match. It was so embarrassing reading about that man. Oh I know. <laughs> It's like seeing how badly, like, I know that he's old, but holy crap, this is embarrassing. True. And yet he's still in a prominent position. Oh, like, good. Come on, I have to give up the ghost, Luther. It's getting depressing. I know. Okay, Zach, so it's day one. We have, we have 18 days of this, plus I get maybe a 19th, because I'm doing this in conjunction with... Essentially, in, in, in conjunction with the actual G1 climax, which looks like absolute ass. Ah, uh, yes, and not good ass at that. Yes, it, it is not fine ass. It is, it is a city ass. It is not Ro it, is, it is not Eric Rowan's ass. It is the reverse of that. <laughs> it is Hank Hill ass. It is flat ass. <laughs> but this will not be hopefully. <laughs> Even though my commentary is absolute ass. <laughs> anyway, I can I will, try to, be, I will be, try to be marginally above ass then. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you already are. Anyway, so I... Zach, I need you to go to a fucking... A random number generator for me, because we need to randomize the matches for today. 
Okay. Okay, sorry, I need wow. you to like to... You heard, this guy's, you heard this, guys. I was his second choice, and now he's making me do all the work for him. I would, I would be also getting Ali to do all the work for me as well. <laughs> wow. This is the type of friend that he is, guys. <laughs> I mean, granted, he's a, he's a great friend, but he'll make you do all the work. I am the best friend. Okay, one number generator between 1 and 100. No, 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 1 and 10. 1 and 10. I need two numbers between 1 and 10. Okay. Right. Between 1 and 10. 1. Okay, so 1 and I need a second. 5. Okay, so opening the fucking so we have Kiryu versus Naoto. Ooh. We are starting off really fucking strong here. So let Damn. us... Also, oh, this is, by the way, this is, uh, Grizzly fighting, so this is, like, MMA. Oh, yes, So this is, the, this is the proper Yakuza experience. So let us get into it. Uh, okay, good, my, my, my... Both, Mac, both Mac and I are huge MMA fans as well. Oh, so hell yeah. Uh, Zach Wasser. Carried by Kiryu by the Dragon of Dojima, but, oh, nice punch to the face. And Kiryu winning the test of strength, and there's a hard elbow. Oh, but down he goes! Uh, oh, another, another add to adjustment. All front thrust. Oh, big oh, big nice takedown. Nice trip, take down into a small And maybe Mr. Representing that, but well. Fine, Boss, we're going oh. into a shirt. Scorpion death lock. Whatever Jack, you want to call it. Zach, tell me about Naoto's fucking abilities. Uh, no, is his name Naoto even? Oh, Napa! The choosing oh, Atami. Nice, nice crap arm breaker there by Kiryu. Full extension, but not quite. Oh, Here, God. I thought he was going to go for a dragon screw on the dragon of Belgium, but nice. Oh, over here, Nessia! Ah, very oh, rare to see in a fight, but... Right there. Oh, but oh, Dirty Deeds! Oh, DDT. Knee drop by the dragon of Belgium. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, oh my god. Throw, the wrestling fucking inspiration from Yakuza already taking effect in this fight. And that's round one. This is a- I think this is three rounds, by the way. Ah! Oh. Yeah, arm bar again by Kiryu. Try to go for a submission. Oh! Series of punches. You gotta need some There's stamina in after that. Oh, to the face. Uh, Kiryu really relying on his shoulder bar just in this fight. Oh, the, going for the drop kicks. His iconic drop kicks. Unfortunately, it's not quite the drop salt. That he's oh, stunner! Oh, my stunner! A nice DDT for the jaw right oh. there. Oh, hell yeah. A uh, big but take down. By Narco, coming back, avoiding his punches. Uh, avoiding super that kick. nice slip kick. And a nice takedown and knee drop by the Dragon of Dojima. Oh, and Zagiri! Oh, and Zagiri! And a big boy. Flipping oh, big boy. Nice big boy sends on. Oh, Capra kick! Rolling wheel kick to the back of the head! Oh, a nasty thing for Kyrie to take! And there's the arm wrench and... Ooh. Oh, it's back now into the fucking Suda! The, the, the SP... SP Suda! What the fuck? It's like a oh, fucking... Oh, look at this! Go direct by Kyrie! Oh, that back broke his fucking back like so with his knee! Oh, another stunner! Slip DDT for the jaw and then knee drop to follow it up. <laughs> oh, Kiryu, devastating sidekick there. Shoulder barge, arm break. Back. Back. Is it gonna work? Back to the Juju Katami. Ah, nothing. Ah, never mind. Ah, oh, ah. Oh, fisherman buster there. Oh. Oh, elbow to the base. Good counter. Has the strength. Oh my, Kiryu is scared. Oh my, to the balls. <laughs> It's nuts! Down! Oh, the dice swing! Hit me with the Cesaro swing! His iconic move! In a headbutt, fucking see. Don't so body yourself. Oh my god, he's dead! He's out of here! Unbelievable! Oh. Kill you! Hit round three of the first fight for the Dragon of Dojima with a devastating uppercut. Kiryu, once again, knocking out his opponent, undefe pretty much undefeated in the world of Yakuza. Yeah. And so he far... Is the, dragon, the undefeatable Lord of the Heavens, in a strong outing to open up the Y1 Climax Tournament. 
89%. Can anyone beat that? Probably. Okay. With that round done... Oh, I... No, we're staying on A block because I'm not doing... I'm not going back and forth, damn it. Okay, so... Okay, you want me to do the random number generation again? Yes. Yes, please. Okay, is there anything that I need to take out? Like, say, if uh, 1 and 5 come up again, does yeah. roll? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okie dokie. So, generating, we have 6. Okay, 6. And 7. 6 and 7, okay, so... Okay, we have Tiger Sizema versus Sueno Iwami. Sueno Iwami. The big man right from away, the, we big are the big city. Right away, the big man is back. Boom, boom. Ah, uh, let us get right into this. Straight out of prison. And already he's back in a cage. <laughs> that is. Fuck. Oh, oh my god, this is pretty much. Co it, it this is oh, oh. this is pretty much purgatory. Oh my and God! It's 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 fucking it's Jesus! Fighting his head right in the mat. On oh, all oh, dropping them. To avoid Sizemore's devastating punches, but it will not save him from the ground and pound. Sizemore's just murdering him already, but fucking hell! Remember, everybody, Tiger Sizema, known as 18, Count Sizema for his brutal murder of 18 different Yakuza members in a ramen shop back in the 1980s. Will he make this 19? Let's find out. And remember, those rubber bullets really hurt. Another cloverleaf. Oh, God. Oh, maybe that was the first. I don't know. I forget if someone did a cloverleaf in the previous match. The thing you need to remember about Sajima, folks, he's not exactly known for finesse, but when you're as brute force oh. as he is, you don't need finesse. You also don't need your goddamn skull if you're gonna keep headbutting people. But, oh, Sajima possibly stayed by the bell there while he didn't ground them, Tom. Yeah, true, true. Lose up in the nice take down there by Iwami, emphasizing his technique with those high kicks, but boom! Sajima with the prison yard beatdown! Oh, dragons! Fuck, dragon screw right to the knee. His infamously bad knees. I mean, when they've got to carry around somebody as big as Sajima, it could kind of be expected. Exactly. Yeah, today. Oh, I'm rolling, rolling Lariat! Oh! We're seeing a real case of brute force versus finesse in this fight. Oh, hell yes. But Iwami. Oh, right, never mind. <laughs> He's getting his ass beat. Turning into a prison yard beatdown, then. Of course, this could end at any moment, by the way. That's, you have to remember that. Oh, an ankle lock! Wait just an ankle pick in minutes, Sajima says, and picks him up, and puts the bomb! And uh, again! The Brock bomb! And there's the clover leaf! Trying to get to the Is side of the cage. Is he gonna break his back and make him humble? No, he is not. Not yet. Oh! Uh, Oh, tripping nice, him up as he nice enters hit. the third round. A nice freak there by Iwami to close the round. Oh, a fisherman buster! Oh. Which is kind of fitting. Oh, devastating elbows there by Sizemore. Oh, Pete Kelly. Oh. oh my god, it's, it, oh. Iwami might That's have... By ankle lock there, this has been all Iwami so far. Oh, but that's what I say that. Very strongly in the third round after taking some nasty punch with the second. But, oh. oh, there's the deadlift spin play. And again! And dropping again. him on his head! Oh, nasty! Two headbutts! And there's the big headbutt and the clover leaf again. Is he gonna break him? Oh, that's back? it! Yes, that he, he gives Heizma. up! Geisma gets the submission stoppage with a devastating clover leaf that nearly breaks the Wami and. It might have! Right. Very well may have, in fact. Iwami is not moving right now. Oh, a nice strong 95% in previous 89. A back and forth fight there, but Saizuma is just too strong. Saizuma making an, an impressive statement in this battle thing. Oh, yes, indeed. Okay, sorry, I need to... <laughs> okay, so now we go back to the n random number generator. God, that, that fucking rolled. <laughs> 
Okay, so this time we have four. Okay. And so, uh, let's see, seven we've already done, yep. so we can't do four and seven. Yep. But it's already been up. Four and ten. Four and ten. Wow. Yes. Where so is ten? Nato Sadachi versus Mine. In an interesting fight. I, you would not expect these two to ever fight, and yet it's happening Nato right now. Sadachi. This is why Mine just because. Indeed. <laughs> oh god, that's so good. Okay. Here we go, the man with the banana pants is, oh, coming right out there with a oh. strong kick. Down he goes into an arm bar. Can you imagine if this ended right there? That would have been crazy. Now remember everybody, yep. Sadaki has been working out extensively with a, with a proper weightlifting gym that opened up in Kamurocho after closing down his own dojo. Indeed. The and he... Sadaki that you need to know, he knows everything there is to know about fighting, but he just didn't have the neck for it himself hmm. until he started lifting weights religiously and became an absolute juggernaut. And we are seeing that on full display here as, yeah. he, as we see him break out in striking action. Oh, uh, yes we are. What? Oh! How can he escape then? Like that. Likewise, Mine is showing very game with his techniques. Great palm strikes, great submission attempts, good takedowns as well. We Mine. saw him nearly snap. Here he goes, he's trying to snatch another armbar again. Mine, yes, but... so out of it. Uh, Mine was the uh, crazy guy from uh, Zero, right? I believe so. Okay, good. I'm just trying to remember where he's from. If he was like an enemy in like any of the future games, or it's like the oh, guy. Here we go, here we go, oh. here we go. Oh! What? Up oh, after the bell! Not, not at the end of the round there, but couldn't capitalize that on was, it. That was blatantly after the bell. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, they're Yakuza, you can't expect them to always fight there. You know, that's true, that is actually true. Ah. Oh, Mine dating him, but. Oh, Sadatsi back. Oh, whoa! Oh! 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 Jeez! Oh, nice! Nice submission attempt here by Mine! So, oh, Sadatsi so needs to really fight back into this if he wants to win. Oh! Okay, speaking of! Oh! Strong, strong combination! Beating him down on the ground with those hard kicks as well. Taking full advantage of the Japanese MMA star rule. Okay, to answer your question, Mine is the treasurer of the Kojo clan as of Yakuza Kiwami. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, right, right, right. Good side walk down there, but I'm just quite cheap. Mm-hmm. Good option. Oh! <laughs> oh! He's going to pick him up, slam him after the bell, but they stop it. Yeah, uh, yep. Him, give him a receipt for last time. Oh, oh, oh beating him. Oh, some big hammer punches. Oh, that's... Right. Big kick! Act kick! Kick to the spine! The yeah. all over him this one, but Mine coming back strong with a hard combination now. What the fuck? Oh my god! Step down, Doomstone, Paul Driver, that is not. Fucking nasty. Owen Driver! Oh my god! A strong Russian leg sweep to come back after that. Axe kick takes him back down. And what do we have here? Big combination coming in. Oh, big knee. And Mine with the devastating European uppercut shades of Antonio Cesaro right there. Oh. Oh, what the? Oh, boom! Oh, he got him! Oh, the smutchen combo! Now, ladies and gentlemen, you've got to remember, on the human body, the elbows are like nine. So that was an absolutely brutal way to finish this match. Absolutely. Yoshitaka Mine, victorious over a very, very game Sadachi. Match of the night so far. It's just keeps getting well better. Deserved. That was a devastating victory. A devastating ending to a fantastic fight. It was. Oh my god. Like, Mine might be actually, no might, he might be the dark horse of this tournament. Now, now remember everybody, no shame at all. For Sadachi for losing that fight, that was as tough as they come. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so, so what's next? To our random number generator, we have eight, and seven's already been run. Two. 
Oh, eight and two. We okay, so we have two. Yoda versus Mitch. Oh. <laughs> <Miss Popsu. laughs> this is going to be insane. This actually fucking rules. The Dragon of Kansai versus the Originator of Beast Mode herself. Already getting the taken one, down. The bomb time thief versus the debt collecting demon. Fuck it! Death that's... slaps him right to the ground with no trouble, but back he comes! Remember, she can take care of herself, but oh god. Unfortunately for her, Ryuji Goda is a firm believer in true gender equality. Yeah, and she's just equality, she's, equality is fucking nuts, though. <laughs> Good brown and palm that was a wrong counter. Oh and my the god! Dude, the Dude not the so body yourself! Oh my god! Oh, and like three. When the Yakuza and carries a... the Yakuza themselves are known for their thick skulls, that's evidenced by Cousin Akira getting a bottle broken over his head and not even flinching. That's true. And he is a dragon, and so is Goda. But boom, he definitely got that stop for the ball. Yep. You know what? Maybe targeting a different head is the right strategy there. Oh. Oh, oh the strength! Oh, Gorilla Press by Miss Tatsu! Going after me as well, but there he is with a ski flag. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Back to the headbutt. Throwing no mercy with these Chewbacca ass headbutts. Oh, low drop kick. Some drop kick to the leg there. She's trying to cut him off at the end of the Not quite. Oh, that is. Normally that would be a disqualification, but this is Yakuza. That is allowed. What the fuck, Tosarak? The move she taught to kill you. Oh my god, she is just. Oh! oh. But right. Oh, but nice god. Up? Nice well. oh, what the fuck? What was she going for there? It may have been a fight ender if it hadn't been at the end of the round. You never know. Could have been. But this could be a fight ender. Oh, 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 oh he's, he's saying that she's oh, going down. He might be about to finish this one. Backbreaker there. But she comes back strongly, pulls it back to his feet. Boom! Clubs away! Really going after his knee. Oh, belly to belly. Big, strong overhead keep up there. Oh! Big gut buster on a slam. And that oh no, oh my Doctor oh, Bomb! Oh, he's oh god, he's dead! Devastating power bomb there by the Dragon of Kansai to put the debt collecting demon away and a blow for true gender equality these days. That could have been either of their fights. My word! Very good match once again. Fantastic fight. Ninety-one percent. We are seeing an absolute. Series of barn burners tonight, no questions. Weirdly, Curious Fight has been the weakest so far. <laughs> and I believe there's only one match we haven't done. Is that, is that right? Let's see. I believe so, two, yeah. Three, four, five, six. Seven. We haven't seen Aizawa in there yet. Yeah, we, we haven't seen Akiyama. Three and nine. This is our final match of the night, of the evening. Everybody, everybody's favorite homeless man turned loan shark, Shun Akiyama, who everybody absolutely loved, no question. I myself, when I was playing Yaku before, I had only been playing as Akiyama for a short stretch of time, but I was already going to kill everybody in this room and myself if something happened to him. <laughs> and we have Aizawa, a man who I barely even fucking remember. 
And I, I love the arc of the series, and I barely remember the guy as well. I what? I can't say what game he was even in. I believe he was in Yakuza Five. Was he? Oh, 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 yeah, that's right. He was that guy. I believe he was. Yes, yes, Yakuza Five. He was one of the final bosses. Right. Okay. Yep. Well, well I mean, spoil, was, spoilers yeah, for anyone. Was... <laughs> yeah, yeah. He he kind of came out of nowhere in Yakuza Five, to be honest. Yeah. But really, he was also he was also the fish man. <laughs> oh my god, he was. But will he be able to fish out a win here? Now remember everybody, Akiyama has an extensive kickboxing background. He is well known for his vicious kick and excellent technique. Like that one. Indeed. Likewise, Aizawa is known for excellent strength, but not that, but not as much for his finesse. But of course we know that in the world of Yakuza, sometimes strength is all you need as we saw. Oh, that is true. But don't forget, fucking Akiyama's moveset is OP as fuck. Oh, absolutely. Not to mention, he's trained with an actual action star as well. That's true, that is very true. Oh. Oh, but some devastating combination there by Ozawa. Oh, some big knees. Yeah, with good knee strikes to the stomach. Oh, a very oh, nice, oh, kick. nice kick there. Very good take. Oh, there. whoa! It's the kicks versus the punches here. Kicks and palm strikes. God. Oh, coming in very strongly in the first round, especially considering. Oh, 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 oh very strong suplex to end the round. That could have very well turned it around. It could have. Right away, Aizawa is the one taking control in the second. Oh, making great use of his strength to get off those slams. But Akiyama, but Akiyama, he lived on the street, so he's tougher than you would think looking in his fairly slight form. Oh. oh, yep, more kicks. Uh, oh, stalling oh, suplex. suplex. Ooh, nasty. And a, that's a straight punch. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh. Akiyama, Akiyama really laying in with these kicks, though. Oh, but Aizawa. Oh, he's just dropping him on his head. He recovers quickly. Big stomp to the face. Big stomp to the face. An elbow. Okay. Oh. I mean, it figures he would have access to, like, elbows as well. <laughs> well, yeah, he Probably does have arms. <laughs> good, amount of, good amount of Muay Thai training in there, I would that. Yeah. Oh. You enter the third round. Every round has ended here. <laughs> what, what the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> oh, super kick! Oh, nice. Oh, a kick to the spine as well. Oh, roll. what the and fuck? And the rolling wheel kick. Oh, but here we go. Beer Whoa! Just like Not that! From a start of Ozawa coming back and just laying him out with an absolutely devastating choke slam. That. I did not expect it to go that way at all. An absolutely abrupt ending to that fight, but it was a very game showing by Shinakiyama, who laid in a lot of viciously stiff kicks. I mean, this just goes to so, any, anything could end the fight at any moment. Anyone could lose. This is absolutely true. Because uh, Akiyama, he's more of a middleweight Aizawa, full-blown heavyweight, nothing but muscle. And when you're a heavyweight, sometimes one punch or one slam is all you need. Exactly. Uh, let us let us look at the rankings. We have Kiryu. We have Kiryu at the top of the leaderboard. We have Goda. Oh, the dragon of Kansai, Ryuji Goda. In fact, the why? Tiger. Wait, why did I do it? Why did I do it? Five points and, and I'm not three. <clears throat> well, whatever. Um, <laughs> One of those things. This is just how. This is just how we're doing it. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not redoing this. <laughs> oh god. I mean, look. This is only the first day. Anyone could come. It could. Anyone could come back at any time. And that's... 
At the moment, the rankings are admittedly fairly arbitrary. For example, we have Yoshitake Ine at the fifth rank, despite having one of the most impressive showings on being the potential. I mean, to be fair, the, I mean, to be fair, they're all rank one. It's just like the num, like it's just based on like the number they drew. True. True. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. And next time, which we might actually even do after this, <laughs> because I, I'm kind of into this now. We will have bracket two. We have. I mean, I'm definitely going to keep going if you are. Oh hell yeah! I was, I was only planning to do one, like one per night, but like we actually—it's only been like 48 minutes, so like I'm down to do like some more. Yeah, sure. I know. I'm, I'm not cutting this bit out of fucking YouTube either, so fuck it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, we have fucking all these guys next time on on night two. Okay, well, I'm gonna save this as well. So until then for YouTube and maybe until five, like a few minutes on Twitch, we'll see you next time. Have a great one everybody, it's been great having you here. And remember, get stamina in. Yep, stamina next to be specific. Of course, we if, also recommend incomparable Habu, if, which if, is truly incomparable. If you can afford Royale, then buy it. Even though I heard there's like traces of cocaine in it, but like that might be good. I mean, it's, a, it's definitely enough to put the dowsers back in your trousers, as Mr. Libido always says. <laughs> I w oh my god, I wish Mr. Libido was fucking in this. Actually, Zach, please go and have a look and see if he was actually on the fucking workshop. <laughs> Do you realize what you just said as well? I wish he was fucking in this. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that's that's me. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>